Hey guys, what's up? It's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am a current part-time clothing reseller on Poshmark. And today I want to talk about getting back into reselling when you've been away for a long period of time, which would be me. <laughs> Hello, I have been away for a while and I am completely out of the loop. So let's talk about that. So for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you know that I have been reselling on Poshmark and eBay since 2018. Uh, however, in 2022, I dealt with another summer slowdown and I was very stressed. I wasn't able to pay my bills that summer. It was rough. And I am not one to go and ask my fiance for money. I don't want to ask anybody for help. I want to be able to do things myself. So I struggled a lot. <laughs> so I decided, you know what, I'm going to go out and I'm going to go back to healthcare. I'm going to get a job. I've been working on long-term care on and off for the last 22 years. It's what I know. Uh, so I did that. And in doing that, I decided to enroll back in college. And so now I am in nursing school and I work PRN at my job. And I decided it's time. It's time to go back to some reselling because I need some money. Um, right now I'm having to pay out of pocket for school. So yeah, I need money. <laughs> so I decided what better thing to do but to go back to reselling because I did so well with reselling. Um, you know, I see a lot of resellers who are, you know, making you know, tens of thousands of dollars. I, I didn't want that ever. Um, I just wanted to make a normal income to where I had money to pay my bills and I was living comfortably. And for the first few years doing that, I had no issues doing that. So real quick, I'm just gonna put in a little graph from Poshmark showing like the cells and how they disappeared <laughs> over the last few years. So as you see, like, I'm trying to pick things back up right now. Um, I have been listing like a mad woman because I know that is really the key to getting things on. But I'm noticing right now that, you know, there's a lot of live shows on Poshmark, which I personally will not be participating in. If you know me, those of you who know me in real life, I am very shy. I am not a person who does good with live anything. Um, I'm extremely awkward. And the only way I'm able to do this is because I can edit out all of my awkwardness, um, even though I probably am still appearing extremely awkward. That's just, you know, it is what it is. That's who I am. Um, but yeah, so I won't be doing live shows and I see a lot of people making really good money doing that. And that's awesome. I just, it's not for me. Uh, so I am struggling right now to figure out like what's going on. It's really difficult. I find the sold comps on Poshmark. I see so many low prices and I'm hoping that some of you are able to kind of help me out in determining like what's selling now what's not like if you have a, a reseller youtuber that you watch who's current um share them with me so i can go and watch them and kind of get back in the loop um, i'm definitely going to be starting videos again on this channel i guess following my journey of getting back into reselling um, and doing a lot of research on what's selling what's not selling uh, because a lot of the stuff that I'm getting, which used to sell immediately, crickets, it's not selling at all. The prices, things that used to sell for, you know, 50 or 60 bucks are like selling for like, if they're selling at all, like 10, 15, 20 bucks, like the pricing has gone down. And I know inflation in the world, all of that's going on. I get that. A lot of people aren't spending money. Um, I mean, personally, I am one of those. I don't have the money to go out and spend um, you know, I can barely go out thrifting right now. I, I take like 20, 30 bucks a week and I'll go thrifting. Um, but yeah, you know, a, a lot of people are struggling and I get that. But I do think like the live shows on Poshmark have definitely made the prices like drop drastically. Uh, but that's just my opinion. I don't know. I would love to hear you guys' opinion and what you think on the Poshmark live shows. And um, I have also noticed that Poshmark is now doing promotions, which I have done the promoting with them and i did notice whenever i was paying them to promote um i was getting pretty decent sales but i'm sorry paying them 35 dollars a week is just ridiculous because whenever i'm looking through uh listings i'm only seeing like two items that say promoted on them so i you know i it's just i i quit paying to promote i don't see the purpose in it i just don't see the purpose but if it's, it's successful for you guys let me know let me check out your closets 
But yeah, so that is what I wanted to come on here and talk about. I'm definitely going to be getting back into reselling. I do want to start doing thrift hauls again. I really miss that. In fact, I might record a thrift haul today so you guys can tell me that everything I got was trash and it's not going to sell <laughs> because it's probably what's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, um, I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I have picked up because I'm still stuck in 2022 mentally when it comes to uh, sourcing. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of research a lot um most of you know that i like to use uh like keyword searches and see what people are like typing into the google search when they you know type in certain brands and stuff like that um so i will be going back to that um, i don't follow trends i never have followed trends i just can't get into it i know there's a lot of y2k talk and it makes me uh, gag a little because I remember seeing the stuff that people wore early 2000s, you know, the low rise jeans. And, you know, I had just had a kid and there was no low rise jeans being worn by me. Um, but the whole style back then was just kind of, I didn't really care for it. Uh, yeah, I've always been one of those t shirt band tee type of gals, you know, Converse. That's just me, grungy. Um, <laughs> I actually just had an interview at the hospital, so I'm dressed up a little bit today, but yeah, um, I don't know. I'm scared. I used to follow a lot of people on Instagram and I actually deleted Instagram. Um, I still share stuff to Instagram through TikTok, like on my stories and stuff, but, um, yeah, I just don't see a lot of reseller content anymore. And even on TikTok, I was following a lot of resellers, but I noticed a lot of them started drifting away from reselling slowly and going into other types of um, content, you know, which really didn't have a lot to do with reselling. Um, I really did enjoy keeping up with that kind of stuff, but you know, over time, it kind of gets boring um, when you're not really focusing on that. I would say in the last two years, um, I really didn't list much at all on Poshmark. I have been using Posher VA, I mean, for years now. Um, and that is the one thing that has kept my Poshmark closet active over the years that I have been working outside of the home. Um, if it wasn't for relisting, I really wouldn't be having any type of new items. You know what I mean? So, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about what my plans are. Um, let me know in the comments all the changes that have happened in the last two years that I may be clueless of when it comes to new types of clothing that are out that people like, um, all that good stuff. So, um, also I am on TikTok. I've been on TikTok for years now and I do a lot of resort content, you know, mainly short form videos, um, just, you know, jokey type of stuff. So, um, if you want to follow me over there, it's girly threads on TikTok. But yeah, I am going to go film a thrift haul and then I will upload that soon. I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.